Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome in everybody. Welcome to our Community Garden Victory Intentions Live. I'm so happy to be here with all of you. Tori Lee is our first subscriber to join. Thank you for joining Tori Lee. How are you? I hope everybody's having a wonderful week so far. And if you're not, remember there's still time to turn things around. If those of you are new, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Christoph. It's so nice to meet you. And it's honestly such an honor and a pleasure to have you here with me following along in my journey. Um, before we get started, just a few housekeeping things. If you're not subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button, join the heart train, hop aboard. We have a lot of fun here on my channel and you know, I do my very best through sharing my story and experiences to try to motivate and inspire you in your own personal path to victory. Ellen, what's going on? How are you, honey? Welcome, welcome. As you can see, Ellen is one of my members. So please, 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 if you would like to, I invite you to join as a member for exclusive content, all things Kristoff, right here on my YouTube channel. Um, with the membership, you get a loyalty badge, as you see. Ellen has been a lawyer for a loyal member for quite some time now. And as a member, you get that badge, and it actually changes color every month that you are a member. Um, you also have access to members-only lives, as well as priority response to any and all of your comments. And right there, we have another member joining. Alicia Shanks, what's up, my friend? I'm so happy to see you guys in here. And Mo over there. Oh my gosh, all of my, my day ones are in the chat already. I love to see it. I love to see all of you. Welcome, everybody. Um, again, um, just a few technical things that I want to get out of the way before we start. All of my support links are in my bio. So when you hear me mention things like my self-published memoir, it started with um, One Man, Three Hearts, Nine Lives, which is available on Amazon. Also, my short documentary, it started with The Heart, a Sugar Beach digital production on Vimeo by DocuMarket. And the GoFundMe, where you can make a contribution or generous donation in support of my life dream and mission to complete my full feature as well as all the links to my other social media platforms all those links can be found in the about section in the bio of my youtube channel go leaves go listen there is no such thing as being late to a live you are right on time my friend thank you for being here tj good evening good evening oh my nose is right. emmanuel Sorry, guys. I just had my dinner and that tends to happen. Could you just wipe my nose for me, please? Thank you. Thank you. Oh, sorry, just a little more, man. Camille, <laughs> sorry, I have a little more. My nose is still a little. <laughs> one second, Mo. Uh, one second, I got you. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. Ugh, my apologies, guys. Um, so it's funny. With my ventilator, that happens a lot when I eat food or if I have a cold drink in particular. Um, you see this? Uh, the top part of my tube here has what's called an HME. It's like a, It's called the nose of the ventilator. It's like a humidifier. So 
that humidity as it's going in when it combines with like a cold drink or as i'm eating it causes me to get very congested so for about like 45 minutes i would say towards an hour after eating my nose is like really congested that's why i may sound like i have a cold too um so i'm so sorry um okay yes mo over there asked what was for dinner so um my uncle my uncle chico for those of you that have read the book he is um about six seven minutes away from me um and so on tuesdays he cooks dinner and then drops it off for me which is so nice he's actually portuguese he's married to my blood aunt so he's my uncle by marriage but he literally i mean my whole life i've known him as just my uncle and he is the cook over there so he prepares a number of different portuguese dishes spanish dishes french and tonight was um portuguese style chicken and white rice with vegetables it was delicious actually the purple one welcome 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 i'm so glad that you made it to a live welcome my friend welcome we have a good time here oh go leaves go you're portuguese todo bem ah todo bem wow i love that that's so cool you see i'm constantly learning things about you guys in these lives and i love that it's one of my favorite things you know is to be able to get to know you guys better and learn more about you and you know where you're from your culture everything about you i want it all aha i'm happy to hear that go leaves go that's awesome that's amazing so again tonight is our community garden victory intentions live so we will actually be figuratively and literally for some of you planting seeds um and setting intentions positive intentions for victory going forward so you know i want you all to really kind of think about your goals different things that you may want to focus on things that you may want to change for the better going forward and you know let me know in the comments below we can discuss how you can kind of work towards that and just really i want you all to encourage each other this is a safe space we have built a community here where we can all kind of come together and support each other hold each other accountable so i don't want you to feel shy or embarrassed there is nothing that you could say in the chat that would you know to be embarrassed by so let's just all have a good time and together as a community put out good positive intentions for the future nfc w prods let's go leaves yes you are 70 what's that is that your age So welcome to everybody that's in the chat. Again, for those of you that are new, my name is Christoph. I'm so happy to hear you. If you're not subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button, like the live, um, share with your friends, and I'm really, really happy to have you here tonight. So I will kick things off with my own personal goals and intentions. I, you know, I'm working on a number of different projects as many of you know, producer Jennifer Cascardo has been like my right hand and we have been working nonstop, 24 seven, just really doing everything we can to expand all avenues of not just my platform, but the movement that we have created together to be able to reach people from all over the world and inspire and motivate you on your own path to victory. Um, so one of the things that I will be relaunching is my one-on-one -on -one life coaching sessions. And so I would like to set the intention of being able to connect with as many people as possible in a one-on-one -on -one setting where I can really help you to achieve whatever goals that you are setting for yourself. Um, that's something that I really am passionate about. I have taken a course to become a certified health and life coach. And so now I really want to put those tools and skills that I've learned to work and just to be able to help each and every single one of you. 
I also want to manifest more presentations. My ultimate goal is to be able to travel around, you know, not just the U.S., but hopefully the world, uh, to be able to give life-changing presentations and seminars to people and, again, inspire and motivate people on their own road to victory, but in a larger capacity. Um, last year, just to give you an example of how powerful setting intentions and manifestation can be, last year, Jen, June 14th of 2023, I had a conversation with producer Jennifer and told her that I wanted to be a keynote speaker. And two weeks ago, I spoke in front of 600 young ladies and faculty at the Academy of Holy Angels, where I was, in fact, the keynote speaker. So in less than a year, we were able to put together everything needed and get me up on that stage as a keynote speaker. So I would really like to be able to expand on that and just visit and speak to as many different schools and organizations as I can. So that's another intention that I'm putting out there. Um, I also hope to hit 100,000 subscribers by June 12th. Um, so again, if you are not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, share with your friends, tell them all about it, tell them how amazing and wonderful I am, inspirational, you know, all the things. So yeah, um, those are just a few of my intentions that I am setting out there. Please let me know some of your intentions and the things that you would like to manifest for yourself. Um, Mo over there says, I want to drink more water and cut back on soda. Mo over there, that is actually a very, very good thing to want for yourself. You know, it starts with us. We have to really, really take care of our bodies and what we put into our bodies. And that's not just with food. It's, you know, what we put into our mind, what we visualize, what we watch on TV, the music that we listen to. All of those things play a very, very important role in our health, our mindset, our energy levels. So I think that's an ex excellent thing to work on. I myself, you know, that's something that I've been trying to work on as well. I really, really love soda. I love juice. I love soda. I, I find that, you know, when I have a meal, there's just something about a, like a sweet drink that really, really complements it well. Even though I know that it's not good for me, it's like the more that I have it, the more that I crave it. And so I've kind of been slowly trying to train myself to have more water. It's not easy. It's definitely not easy, but it's a good thing to strive for. So I'm over there. I can definitely relate to you on that one for sure. Um, my skin is something that I struggle with a lot um, just because of genetics. Also, the medicines that I take, I take a lot of medication. And so it causes me to break out. You know, I've struggled with acne ever since I hit puberty. It's just been a thing for me. But I do find that those sugary drinks like soda and juices tend to cause me to break out more. So that's another incentive that I have to stop drinking as much soda and juice is to help me to clear my skin. I find that when I drink more water, um, I have less breakouts or my breakouts aren't as frequent. The issue with my liquid intake is that I'm also on dialysis. For those of you that don't know, I'm back on dialysis for a second time, and I'm awaiting a second kidney transplant. And being on dialysis, for those of that you, for those of you that are on dialysis or may know someone on dialysis, um, our fluid intake is limited because we do not urinate. I don't go to the bathroom and pee like most people, and so. All of the fluid that I drink and consume in between treatments tends to build up in my tissues. I actually have a long video where I explain the dialysis process and everything that it entails. So if you care to know more about that, you can check that out in my video section. Let's see, tricks, plays, blocks. Tricks, plays, blocks says if I'm allowed to ask, what is that around your neck? Of course, you're allowed to ask me anything in this chat. 
again, this is a safe space and I don't mind answering questions. That's why I'm on here. That's why I am on this platform choosing to open up and be vulnerable and transparent with all of you. So please do not feel bad about asking questions. Um, before I go into that, I do have a special video dropping, premiering this Thursday at 9 p.m. as a part of my Top 10 Answer series. That's a new series that producer Jennifer and I um, just developed. We dropped the first episode last Thursday, so again, if you missed that out, go into the video section and check that out. Um, but this week's video is the question, what happened to you? So for all of you, those of you that may be curious, you may not know, um, you may be new to the channel, or you may have been here for a while and only saw a few shorts or videos, um, I really will be explaining in detail what happened to me. And, you know, if you want to know more, again, in my About section are the links to my book, my short documentary, and my other platforms. This around my neck is called a trach, which is short for tracheotomy. So I have a hole in my neck and a trach is placed in there and it's connected to this tube, which is hooked up to a breathing ventilator for life support. The ventilator helps to assist me with my breathing because my diaphragm muscle is severely weakened from my condition, myofibrillar myopathy. Um, I have been trach now for 14 years. It'll be 14 years this summer, which is so hard to believe. I still remember just how fearful I was of being trached. I, I thought that my life was gonna be over. I'm like, wow, how am I ever gonna manage this? You know, how am I gonna enjoy and live my life when I'm hooked up to this machine for life support? And yet 14 years have gone by and I have seen, you know, two of my siblings get married. I've had five of my nieces and nephews born and I got to see them and build relationships with them, you know. And in the last several years, I have been able to achieve so many of my goals and dreams. And that was with a ventilator. You know, when I was not trached, I was still just, a guy living his life and dealing with obstacles and challenges and it's almost as if as things got more serious and challenging I was able to push myself to heights that I never imagined possible you know through my memoir my self-published book my short documentary which was accepted into six film festivals nationwide nominated for best short documentary one I'm now a keynote speaker a certified health and life coach um, I, I have this platform where I have millions of views across the entire world. And I'm doing all of that while awaiting a second kidney transplant, going to dialysis treatments three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, sitting in a chair, getting my blood cleaned for four hours at a time. So don't ever let anybody put limits on you. Don't ever let anybody hold you back from achieving your goals and, you know, going after your dreams. It's all really, really important you know and it it takes you believing in yourself and believing that you can do it triple uh, tricks plays blocks thank you so much for that question misunderstood says what do you call an angry carrot a steamed veggie <laughs> misunderstood i love a good dad joke thank you for that thanks for lightning up the the chat The purple one says that will be beautiful for you to do. Thank you so much, the purple one. Thank you, thank you. All right, Ellen. Ellen says she has to run. She'll be back later. I hope you do. But if you are not able to, don't worry about it. I will see you on the next live. Um, I'm going to be hosting weekly lives. So, um, you know, if you miss one or you're late or you can't stay for the entirety of one, don't worry. You know, we got more coming up. We got a lot of things to talk about, a lot of things that we can share. So what other intentions do we have? Do we have any, what other intentions do you have for yourself? Um, things that you would like to focus on, goals that you would like to achieve? I'm really curious, drop me in the comments. What seeds are you planting for yourself? 
producer Jennifer, actually speaking of seeds, um, sent me a really cool heart-shaped plant. I didn't even know that, plant, that they were heart-shaped plants. I thought that it was really, really amazing. Um, and so, if you're interested, I invite all of you to check out those plants and possibly even get one, plant one, take care of one. Um, you can even name it Kristoff. You know, I think that would be really cool. And just nurture it and have it grow and develop alongside you. And you can almost use it as a reminder that you are always growing. You are always developing. You're always getting better. You're always growing spiritually. And just kind of as a reminder to yourself that, you know, you can always keep going. You never, ever give up. And... You know, you're always going to be developing in your work in progress. And to be a little bit kinder to yourself, to take care of yourself, to nurture yourself. You know, all those nutrients and ingredients that you give the plant can be a reminder that it's so important to put healthy nutrients into your own body. So there's a lot of symbolism behind plants and you know, I think that's what tonight's live really embodies and represents. It's, you know, about new life, new beginnings, growth, prosperity. And if you do decide to get a heart-shaped plant and you are nurturing it and helping it grow, definitely send me some pictures of the stages of growth. I would love to, uh, love to see how you're making out with your plants. Go Leafs Go, I'm doing well. So today is a non-dialysis day, which is always my strongest days. Energetically, I don't feel so sick. I feel good. Tomorrow, I'm right back to dialysis. Wednesday is, is my early session, so I get up around 5.30, and I'm at the dialysis center about 6.15, and around 6.30 is when they usually start my treatment. Drea says, I want to work on my self-care. Drea, I think that's an excellent thing to work on. Self-care is very, very important. I myself, I'm somebody that really, really prides myself on my self-care. And that was even before I was diagnosed with my illness. You know, I really, really am big on personal hygiene. My friends would always tease me and say that my toiletry cabinet looks like a aisle in CVS because I have so many different lotions and body sprays and colognes and my shaving stuff and my facial stuff. So, you know, I think that that's really important because again, it really plays into how we feel. And for me personally, I find that when I look good, I feel even better. You know, I, I did not want to let my disease rob me of that. And so I really stressed to my caregiver when I was hiring him just how important that is to me. And I'm sure as you can see, because you can see your boy looks good. Your boy looks good and therefore I feel good. You know, um, brushing my teeth, washing my face, um, taking nice long showers, making sure that my skin is hydrated because with dialysis, my skin gets really, really dry. Ain't nobody wanna be ashy. So I really think that that's an amazing thing to work on, Drea. Um, and you know, I think that's, that's something that you should actively work on. It'll help you to feel good, I promise you. Alicia Shanks, what is the plant called? You know, that's a good question, Alicia. I'm not sure. I, I think she just Googled heart-shaped plant. But Alicia, you know, um, you recently commented on a video, I remember. So um, if I do, I'm going to look it up again after this live, and I'll, I'll comment the name of the plant. And I'll actually, I'll leave the comment. Uh, I'll pin the comment on the replay of this live as well with the name of the plant. But I think you could just Google heart-shaped plant. Does that mean you're gonna get one? Mama T, what's up? I was hoping to see you, Mama T. Hello, my friend. The purple one says, I think it's called Hoya. All right, that's good to know. Hoya, a Hoya plant. 
Uh, okay, uh, Drea says you are looking great. Thank you, Drea. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you, the purple one. Thank you. Alicia Shanks says, I want to develop and stick to a daily routine that benefits me. I think that that's, that's really, really great. Um, you know, I was thinking that, you know, for things like that, the best thing that you can do is kind of start by writing it out. Whether it's in the notes of your phone or actually writing it out on paper, that way it can help you to visualize. And I really believe that writing things down is a great way to start the process because then you see it and seeing it and putting it in a place where it's like, um, almost like a daily reminder. You can stick it to your mirror. You could stick it in your bathroom, somewhere that you know that you're gonna see it every day. In my last live, actually, somebody recommended having reminders pop up on your phone throughout the day, which is such a great idea. But I think visualizing and seeing it can help you to hold yourself accountable. Now, not only will we hold each other accountable, but it's really important to be able to hold yourself accountable and to also be patient with yourself. Because as you'll realize is that these things don't happen overnight, right? You know, this live that we're doing tonight is really just the beginning. It's the first step that we're all taking together to set these intentions and goals for ourselves. But we're human. So you have to forgive yourself when you mess up or you you cheat or you fall off track. You, you may set all these intentions just like it's like new year's resolutions right where you may start out strong and then after a few days you get a little lazy you, you kind of forget or you know certain things are just not as easy for you to do you know you you set out to to do this big goal and you find like whoa you know a few days into it this is a lot more overwhelming than i expected that's okay you know baby steps give yourself some grace start out small and you will get there you know it's all about training yourself and getting to a place where you can do little by little and then when you look back let's say a week from now two weeks from now a month from now that you're like wow i've really made progress so that's just a, a reminder that i want to um to stress is just you know while we're in this process just give yourself some grace and be patient with yourself because this is not going to be an overnight thing. But the important thing and the hardest part is starting. And that's why I really wanted to do this live with you tonight. Um, and actually, you know, producer Jennifer really helped me with the concept just because, again, we're in spring and it's all about new life, new beginnings and starting off fresh. And... Um, so that's the whole purpose of tonight. Oh, Mama T, I know you're here. And I love it. I love to see you. Welcome, welcome, my friend. Gilmore says, you look really great. Thank you, Gilmore. Thank you so much for that. Alicia Thank Shank says, I think I might just get one. You know, I think I might get one too. Um, obviously, my hands are really weak. So it's really tough for me to you know, plant or take care of plants myself, but, you know, I'll do it along with my caregiver. I'll give him the pointers and, you know, we'll, we'll work on that together. But I would love for you to get one, Alicia. And definitely, like I said, I would love for you to share the progress of your plant life with me. My life his way says, hey, Chris, so good to see you tonight. My life is way. It's so good to see you, my friend. Thank you for joining the live. Thank you for joining our Community Garden Victory Intentions Live. I appreciate you being here. Go Leafs Go, thank you. Thank you so much, my friend. Thank you. Go Leafs Go says, keep up the good work. Thank you. Thank you. Scott Elliott says, hey, Christoph, saying hello from sunny Colorado. Oh my gosh, you know, thankfully, the weather here in Jersey has started to get better, so I'm not jealous of you. If it was about a month ago, I would have definitely been a little jealous of your sunny weather. My cousins live in Colorado. I would love to visit them, but 
I, I, I don't think I can just because of the altitude issues over there. It's crazy because um, years ago, years ago when I was first tricked, my brother, sister-in-law, my sister and brother-in-law with some friends, uh, they took a trip out to see a Dave Matthews Band concert in Colorado. And I was all set to go. And all of a sudden, my doctors did not give me clearance to travel because of the altitude issue. And I was so broken hearted. I didn't even, that wasn't even something that I considered or thought about. Like, I, I just, I was like, I'm going to go to Colorado. I wasn't even thinking that there would be altitude issues. And it's crazy because even when I looked up online, I saw so many different stories about people with trachs or people who were on ventilators that went out there and developed complications. So, you know, as hard as it was for me to accept at the time, I know that it was for the best. And, you know, now when I look back on it, I'm like, wow. You know, God forbid I went out there and something serious happened, so I'm really glad that my doctors cared enough to, you know, advise me otherwise, but just a, a little anecdote, since you're from Colorado. I'm from Jersey, I'm not sure if I said that already, um, but I am in northern New Jersey. I am just outside of New York. I'm about like 10 minutes from Manhattan, give or take with traffic. Alicia Shanks put the plant emoji. I love it. I love it. Yes, Alicia Shanks. Let's do it. Let's get ourselves some Hoya. That's what they're called. Yeah, thank you. Sorry about that, guys. I'm not sure if my internet went out or something. Has anybody else had been having issues with their phone and the internet? And just like, I don't know, ever since the eclipse, I feel like, like my, my electronics have been a little wonky. But my life his way was saying we are victors this season and I couldn't agree more. You know, um, that's, that's what it all is, guys. You know, we have to believe that we are victorious. We have to believe in victory. That's like the initial thing. You know, you have to believe that you can get there and you will, I promise you. Me with even all my obstacles, my challenges, everything that I've faced, I have still come out victorious time and time and time again amidst defeat. So if I can, you can. The purple one says, I'm born and raised in Colorado. Beautiful day today, a little windy though. Oh nice, yeah, today, today was beautiful, but definitely a little cool for sure. Again, now for those of you that are just joining, welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Christoph. I am a 40-year-old quadriplegic who is living with an extremely rare condition called myofibular myopathy. It's a genetic disease that has slowly weakened my muscles over time. This Thursday night at 9 p.m., I will be premiering a video where I go into detail about everything that I've overcome, all my challenges, and how I have achieved victory despite all of that. So be sure to subscribe and have your notifications turned on. You do not want to miss this, especially if you are new to my page. Hello, Three Musketeers. Hello, hello, hello. Right? Okay, my life is way says, yes, my phone has been a little weird too. Okay, yes. Producer Jennifer has been having issues with her phone. My family members, like, it's definitely... Okay, good to know it's not just me. Um, go Leafs Go, it is 9.05 p.m. In Jersey right now. 9.05 p.m. Another question for... Have, did any of you... So I schedule my lives, right? Did any of you see that it said my live was at 7.30 instead of 8.30? I'm just curious because I, I really want to nip that in the bud. I don't want you guys expecting me at one time and then being like, what the heck? He said, the live said 7.30. He's not here. So please let me know if any of you have been having issues with that for some reason. Alicia Shanks, thank you. Yes, guys, please also let me know if the live happens to cut out or if you can't hear me for whatever reason. Just drop a comment just so that I can ask Emmanuel to hop in here and help me. 
So just like us in Canada. Yes. Well, I guess it depends on what part of Canada you're in. If you're in the east part, right? Okay, 8.30. Good, good, good. Okay. You saw 8.30. Good, 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 good. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I appreciate that. My life is when you're in Baltimore. Oh, nice. Okay, yeah. So you're right there. Mass McCoy. I get that all the time. And I thank you because Drake is so handsome. <laughs> so thank you so much. Mass McCoy said why he looked like Drake. I get that all the time. Especially, in particular, when I go live for some reason. I, I get that more when I go live versus comments on videos. Mo over there says I saw 832. Okay, good. Thank you, guys. I appreciate that because, again, I don't, I don't ever want to mislead you and... You know, these apps, technology in general, they have issues, as you saw in my Are You Afraid of Dying long video. If you have not, you definitely want to check that video out. March 6th, I had a freak accident and almost died in the middle of the night in my own bed because of a technical issue with my bed. So, technology can't always be relied upon. That's for sure. That is for sure. My Life His Way says you do look like Drake. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, I really appreciate it. I'm, I have a crush on Drake. I think he's so sexy. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you. Does that mean I have a crush on myself? I mean, that's not a bad thing. Self-love is a beautiful thing, right? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. All right, guys, so tell me. I mean, there are about 70 of us in here. Let me know your intentions. What goals do you have for yourself? What things would you like to focus on? You know, what are your... Just drop them in the comments. I don't care how ridiculous, how outlandish they sound because that's what it's all about. You got to dream big. You got to put yourself out there. You know, step out of your comfort zone. Things that don't necessarily, you know, may not be comfortable for you i'll tell you a little secret right so for me growing up i was always very shy if you could believe that i was very private you know i actually did everything that i could to conceal my illness and conceal certain aspects about my personality the things that i was going through i didn't want people to know that i was sick that, I viewed that as a sign of weakness. I thought that I was going to get bullied. I thought that people were going to see me as less than. And so for so much of my life, I limited myself and I, I put myself in a box and just did not want people to know the real Kristoff. You know, I, I hid so many beautiful aspects of my personality. Things that I now realize were beautiful. I was ashamed of them at the time, but now I... I fully embrace myself, flaws and all, you know, all of my, my setbacks, everything that makes me me. I think that it's a beautiful, beautiful mess. You know, we're all flawed in different ways. We all have different things that we can work on. And so do not be fearful of yourself. Do not be fearful of your potential. Don't be fearful of what you're capable of. Instead, release that out into the world. Open up yourself and let people know, like, this is me. Because you are something magnificent and you are something special to be proud of. Hold your head high. Flaws and all, you know? I come out here on here without a filter. You see my acne, so what? I'm beautiful still, okay? I got this beautiful beard. I got these eyebrows, these luscious eyebrows. Come on now. And I have to say, producer Jennifer, if you're watching, if you are watching, thank you so much for helping me to realize my worth, how wonderful I am, how amazing I am, and that I can reach all the limits and break them. I can break through every single limit that I have placed on myself since the age of six. Thank you, producer Jennifer. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You know, 
That's why it's so important to have a community, to have people around you, because there are sometimes going to be issues and things within ourselves that we don't necessarily realize, and it may take an outsider to look and help bring that out in us. You know, that's what we are here for tonight. That's what I want my channel to represent, that we can all come on here and uplift each other, inspire each other, share with each other, and just realize that we are in this together, and that together we can achieve victory. Because life is hard, my friends. Life is not easy. Challenges are gonna come at you daily. Things are gonna come at you to throw you off your path to victory and make you, there. it's gonna do its very best to convince you that it's not possible. To convince you that the road is hopeless and that there is no shot that you can get there. And I'm here to tell you different. I'm here to tell you that yes, victory is possible. So drop those intentions in the chat. Go Leafs Go, when are you doing one-on-one? -on -one? Stay tuned, stay tuned. Producer Jennifer and I are working on, you know, the um, the launch for that. So it's it's gonna be very soon. Within like the next couple of weeks, I'll, I'll be letting you guys know. Um, uh, and we'll probably start, I'll start accepting clients in the early summer. There she is. Everybody give a big welcome to producer Jennifer Cascardo in the chat, the one and only mastermind, genius, co-content creator, marketing strategist, and the list goes on and on. I mean, police. Okay, let's see. The purple one says, right now I'm participating in a group of ladies that happen to be all black doctors. Love that here in Colorado. It's called Abundant Black Health. So far, it has been amazing to meet and share our experiences. Wow. Wow. That is so beautiful and empowering. Thank you for sharing that. You know, that's what it's about, uplifting each other, rooting for each other, and encouraging each other. I love that. I love that. Drea says, yes, victory. Say it again, Drea. Say it again, honey. Yes. Yes, victory. Sarah Rubin says, you are amazing. Thank you, Sarah. I'm so glad you think so. Thank you so much. Jennifer Cascardo says, thank you all for all your victorious support. Yes, yes, because we are nothing without our supporters, truthfully, truthfully. You know, you lift me up every single day. Um, I know that 90% of the time I'm positive, but I'm human and I do have my days where I'm just not feeling it. You know, I have my bad days. I have my days where I get up and I question it all. And I wonder, what is this all for? And those are the days that I read through your comments and your messages and you uplift me and you make me believe in myself and want to get right back on the road to victory. So thank you. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. So let's, let's hear some more intentions. Drop them in the comments. Once again, for those of you that are new or just joining, and if you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to get to 100,000 subscribers by June 12th. That's my goal, and I know. I, I, I know that we can make it happen. Heart train, I know that we can get there. So please, if you're not subscribed already, also, I do have my self-published memoir, One Man, Three Hearts, Nine Lives, available on Amazon with over a hundred five-star reviews. I have my short documentary, my absolutely incredible short documentary. It started with the heart, a Sugar Beach digital production on Vimeo by DocuMarket, accepted into six film festivals and nominated for best short documentary in one. It's a 23 minute short documentary. I would be so honored for you to watch and leave a comment on Vimeo with your thoughts. I love hearing what you guys thought about the documentary because I personally, I have seen it so many times and I'm still blown away and I can barely like even wrap my head around the concept that it's my life that I'm watching. Um, you know, and it doesn't have to be tonight, but maybe set a movie night with your friends, your family, get together, have some popcorn, some snacks, 
and really get into it, I promise you that after watching the documentary, you are going to be so inspired and motivated in your own life, you know? And even if it may just help to remind you not to take things for granted, not to take your loved ones for granted, we can always use that reminder. I don't care who you are, I, even me. With all the lessons that I've learned throughout my journey, I still need that reminder. And sometimes it's good for me to just rewatch my own story just to be like, wow, you know, you're being a little too hard on yourself, Chris. Like, look how far you've come. Look how many times you've been victorious. Look how many different things that you've achieved despite all the odds that were placed against you. So I really, really encourage you to check out the short documentary. You can rent it for $5.55 or purchase it for $9.99 if you love me that much and you just want to support. Um, and the link is in my about section in my bio for that and for my book. And also for the GoFundMe, which is to help me to tell my full story in a full feature. We are trying to raise $100,000. We just hit we're just under 33,000 our next milestone goal is 35,000 so if you consider making a generous donation to the GoFundMe the link is in the about section of my bio here on my YouTube channel it's on the home page just slide over to where it says about the purple one asks would you do a podcast stay tuned my friend stay tuned Sky's the limit. Sky's the limit. I'm already going to be doing um, Spotlight on Victory Lives, where I will be bringing on guests, where I will be spotlighting their own victory. So if you happen to have like an inspirational sh story that you would like to come on here and share, email me and uh, producer Jennifer and I will check it out. And we, who knows, we might even choose you to, to be on Spotlight Victory. My email is one man three hearts at gmail.com. So just email me your story and we will check it out. I would love to, to possibly host you on my series Spotlight Victory. What other intentions do we have? What other things and goals do we have? The purple one says beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Do you guys have any questions also? Please don't hesitate to ask any questions that you may have. You know, it's funny because I, uh, I was thinking the other day about how, you know, I never imagined that I would be doing some of the things that I'm doing now. You know, I, I really, when I started, it was all about my book, and I thought that that was going to be my biggest and only achievement. And since self-publishing my book, it's about eight years ago now, um, you know, to, to see myself now in so many different, you know, different lights, you know, and I am achieving things and continuing to achieve despite my diagnosis is just so surreal to me because in the summer of 2010 most people would have considered my diagnosis a death sentence right you're sitting there you're being told that you have this extremely rare genetic disease that there's currently no treatment no cure for it and that you know the life expectancy they have no idea what it is they can't tell you how far it's gonna go, which muscles it's gonna affect, how quickly it will affect my muscles. And so in that very moment, I felt very defeated. I felt like, how am I ever gonna live? How am I ever gonna to get to a place where, you know, I can be happy again or enjoy my life? Well, fast forward from 2010, now 14 years later, you know, April of 2024, I am a keynote speaker, a certified health and life coach. I've co-executive produced a short documentary about my life story. Uh, you know, I, I am the uh, proud co-creator of this movement, 
My platform has millions of views here on YouTube alone, let alone my other six platforms. You know, and just to be able to have accomplished so much, you know, in the face of defeat, in the face of something that was supposed to be so life-threatening and debilitating, that is what I want to spread to every single one of you, that it is possible, no matter how dire things seem, no matter how hopeless, no matter what the projected outcome is, you have the power to turn it around. You have the power to succeed and be victorious always. Always, my friends, always. Guys, do not forget to join as a member for exclusive content, all things Kristoff. My membership is just $2.99 and you get some really cool perks. You get a badge next to your name, so anytime you interact with my channel, that colorful badge will show up and every month that you're a member, the badge will change to a different color. You have access to members only lives and you also get priority response to all comments. I get hundreds of comments a day and so, um, you will be the first that I answer. For those of you that are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Christoph. I'm a 40 year old quadriplegic and I welcome you to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. I'm on life support and I'm living with an extremely rare genetic muscle disease called myofibular myopathy. It slowly weakened my muscles over time and I have survived the unimaginable. This Thursday, 9 p.m. Eastern Time, I will be premiering the second video in my top 10 answer series called What Happened to You? The first episode was called Does It Hurt? where I demonstrate suctioning and I answer that question as well. So that video is already up. If you care to watch, you can go check it out. If not, I mean, if you've seen it already, then stay tuned for this week's episode. Again, that's Thursday, 9 p.m. New episodes every Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Guys, come on, any questions? Please, please, don't be shy. Ask me any questions before we wrap things up here. And if you care to share any of your intentions, I would love that too. And also hit that thumbs up, the like button, like the live. I would really appreciate that. That helps to bring more people into the live. I'm definitely going to be trying to get a plant. I think that's really cool. I have a few plants in my living room already. One plant, believe it or not, I got during my first chart heart transplant. Um, it was given to me by one of my dad's coworkers. She came to visit me in the hospital and she brought me this plant. It was a little, little thing. I don't know if I have a picture of it from back then, but this was back in 2000. And now you should see it. It's in my living room and it is like, I want to say it's easily about like five foot seven now. Thank you, Go Leafs Go. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yes, I have dialysis early tomorrow. The last couple sessions have actually gone well. But yeah, you know what? I'm going to take a, a picture of that plant and I'm, I'm going to post it in community. I'll share with you guys. I would love for you to see it. It's a really special plant. But I, I, now I, I want another one. And, uh, you know, just to be able to, uh, to just nurture it and grow it along as I nurture and grow my intentions. I'm definitely going to try and get, I think we decided it's a Hoya plant. Is that what it's called? Because I'm going to check after this. But I'm going to get one of those heart-shaped plants. And I'll share a picture of that too. And then I'll share with you my progress as I go. <clears throat> you guys got so quiet on me all of a sudden. Is everybody tired? It's only 9.30. You shouldn't be tired yet. Anybody, any questions whatsoever, please 
Do not be shy. This is a safe space. Feel free to ask anything you like. Even if you're just curious about something, I'm happy to answer. But if you're new and you want to know what happened to me again, turn on your notifications for Thursday night's video. That's going to be a good one. Tomorrow, yes. I'm back tomorrow um, with dialysis, you mean? Is that what you're asking? Yes, tomorrow I'm back at dialysis, but so Mondays and Fridays, I'm at dialysis at 10 a.m. My treatment starts about 10.30, and then on Wednesdays I go in early. So I'm there at 6, and I start by 6.30. What is your favorite dessert? Alicia Shanks asks. Apple pie. Apple pie, by far. I love any, like, apple-flavored desserts, like apple tart. But um, I love, like, warm apple pie. Definitely warm. Like, I warm it up in the microwave for a little bit. And then vanilla ice cream. Oh, so good. So good. I think it's because when I was growing up, we used to go apple picking. And my mom used to make a lot of homemade apple pie. And it's just, it's one of my favorite things. A little cinnamon on top. Oh, so good. So good. Producer Jennifer Conscardo says, Variety of many beautiful heart-shaped plants. Search heart-shaped plants and seeds. Ah, there you go. There you go. Yes, apple pie a la mode, a la mode with ice cream. Mm, yummy. So good. What are your favorite desserts? How many of you were in my cookie party live last week? Or a couple of years? Jeez, you see? You see how time flies? This was already, like, not this past Friday, the Friday before. Go Leafs Go says their favorite dessert is cheesecake. Ooh, good choice. Yeah. Yep. Like regular plain cheesecake. Regular plain cheesecake? Or do you like uh, a special flavored cheesecake? Oh, we have two, though. Okay, Alicia Shanks also is a cheesecake fan and ice cream. Cheesecake, comma, ice cream. Goldie goes to strawberries on top of the cheesecake. I love strawberries. I love I love fruit just in general, but I definitely love strawberries. Well, all right, guys, we are getting ready to wrap up tonight's live. Um, this was really awesome. I really hope that, you know, some of you will consider getting a heart-shaped plant, planting the seed, and sharing your progress with us. Um, again, I think it's a good exercise just to not only take care of something, but to remind yourself of your own personal growth. And, you know, as the plant grows, you can grow along with it, you know? Remember to continue to set positive intentions for yourself. For any of you that may be watching the replay of the live, just put your intentions out there, manifest, and do your very best to just visualize and see yourself moving forward and achieving your goals. Again, I am living proof that anything is possible. You know, no matter what's thrown your way, no matter what challenges or adversity, you always can get through it. You just have to believe in yourself, and if you're really lucky, you have a good support system around you. And that's what we're here for. You have support in all of us, and you know, we can all hold each other accountable. I love bangles. Go leaves go, why? Is that a dessert? I've never heard of bangles. Sweetest dreams, everyone, says Jennifer Cascardo. Yes, 
guys, sweetest of dreams. Um, I really want to thank you for being here. And if you have not already, please binge watch my videos. Poke around the channel. Um, watch. I really appreciate your watch times. I really thank you guys for watching my videos all the way through. That really helps me a lot. You can also support me again by visiting any of the support links on my homepage in the About section. That's where you can find my self-published memoir, my book, One Man, Three Hearts, Nine Lives, with over a hundred five-star reviews. My short documentary, It Started With the Heart, a 23-minute short documentary that's expect that was accepted into six film festivals, nominated for Best Short Documentary in one. It's a Sugar Beach Digital production on Vimeo by DocuMarket. And then also, you have my GoFundMe, where you can consider making a donation and support my life, dream, and mission to complete my full feed dream. I thank you guys so, so much. Your daily interactions, your just being here, helps me to be victorious. So on behalf of producer Jennifer Cascardo and I, I thank you so, so much for all of your support, all of your interactions, and all of your persistent love and support. Okay. Go, please go. Sorry that that threw me off for a second. Cause I was going to say, what are bangles? Is this some new type of dessert that I need to go and like test out tomorrow? Bangles? You meant my mangoes. Go leaves go meant mangoes. Well, that makes sense because mangoes are absolutely delicious. Thank you guys again. Lastly, if you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. And I thank you for watching and being part of this live. Um, it means the world to me. You guys are the best. I love you. And let's go out there and achieve victory. All right, victorious intentions. Have a good night, everyone. Peace and blessings, says the purple one. And I second that. Thank you all for being here. I love you all so, so much. Hey, Manuel. I'm finished. It's my caregiver. He's gonna come in and shut it down. I'm finished. Good night, everyone. Have a good night. So if you could hit the X for me. And then end. Bye.